Why is my chat full of mods? Why? Okay, why is my chat full of mods? Do you think that's intentional? You think I wanted 500 mods? This group of people have collectively Collectively, I've lost half my viewership. Half my videos are down. Now I can't go into others' channels and participate who uh, I feel like contributing to, such as Joe Lewis. Okay? This very individual is threatened to call CPS because I am on the live stream while my child is in the house. Okay. In this whole group of four to five individuals, why are four fifths of them from the area? Okay, four fifths of these assholes who are causing me problems live directly in or near Delphi. Do you think that's a coincidence? Yeah, my, my mods don't boot, okay? They may time you out for 30 seconds or something, but I boot. I told my mods, don't boot anyone. I had five to ten of these individuals come into my chat, having duplicated my viewers' avatars and screen names. Okay, they came in and spoofed the entire chat simultaneously, totally disrespecting every member of the chat. Okay. They planned it. I have screenshots of everything. I know exactly who it was. Okay. The only solution at the time was everyone who I knew was legitimate put a wrench on their name. There will be no other wrenches put on any other names. Okay. Because now I don't know who is who. That's why K West earlier today you got some shit in my chat. It's not your fault. There's no wrench next to your name. Why? Because I don't know if you are you. I don't know if anyone is anyone other than my ones with the wrenches. Because I could catch them in time to hand them a wrench. I've been straight attacked since the moment I brought up the family not being completely honest with the Delphi investigators. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous that I can't sit here, talk about what I want to talk about with people who want to talk with me about it, and uh, us not have to deal with all the 12-year-old bullshit from these adults from Delphi behind their computer screens. And yeah, you guys didn't see. If you didn't see it, it's because you didn't know what was going on. I got screenshots of it all. Those who were here when it happened can testify to it. Yeah, I figured it out. You're not a mod because um, I don't know who you are. Okay? That's why there's a lot of mods. No, I started off with two mods. Started off with one, really. Okay? Then I accidentally got another mod who happened to be from the area, and I didn't realize it because she was lying. Okay? But once she pulled her shit, I took her wrench away and kicked her out of here. Okay? I figured what she was doing. Yeah, they're trying to, they're trying to punish me. I can unmod whoever I want to unmod, but all my mods now are solid. It's Indiana. Yeah, it's all of them. It's really, it's a, it's a handful from the Delphi area who are fucking with me. And I think it's time that I say it. <clears throat> my mods ain't the problem. Nope. Yeah, it took, it took a while to figure out what was happening, and then it took a while to figure out who was who. That's why no one else is getting a wrench, ever. Now, you pretty much halfway destroyed my channel. You know, they did accomplish a, fe a feat, which was they cut my view hours in half, okay? You notice we got 43 watching. Used to have twice that. 
Okay. Caused me a lot of heartache. But they're not going to shut me up. They thought they would. Okay. But I will email Joe again. I see. I thought we were done with it because Joe apologized profusely. And uh, I, I, I intended to join the chat again to, today in his show and, and uh, show support in that way. But when I saw that, I thought, there's no way in hell I'm subjecting. Why would I subject myself to his chat or to his mods? Uh, Kelt, what do you mean there? Rephrase that, Kelt. I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah, Cal, I don't, I, oh, I see, I see what you're saying, okay. Yeah, but I mean, it's the kind of thing that makes you never want to turn this damn uh, computer on again, it really does. No, you wouldn't have to be a hacker. They just grab your uh, avatars and copy your names. It's really a shame that it's allowed. I'm surprised no one's asked who we're talking about, but I'll leave it for another time. I'm talking about a handful of jackasses. Okay. Of course I did, Anthony. Don't you listen to my channel? I said that's probably the most important thing. One of the most important things is that series. Process of Elimination, Garrett Kurtz, Open Secrets. Yeah, in my opinion, your, your account should be revoked if you spoof like that. You should be removed from YouTube if you do that. But, of course, they do it. And a few of them have YouTube channels. Isn't that interesting? Oh, yeah, these locals with YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. They want me to name their names on here. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give them that pleasure. <clears throat> they got some YouTube channels, a couple without. A couple are just mods around. A couple are YouTubers. And they play the games like, let's go in the chat and do this. Hey, you, you guys can name the names in the chat. I'd actually enjoy that. I'll smoke a cigar and watch you name names. Like I said, there's about four or five of them. You should, YouTube should take them down. Shouldn't be able to do that. I don't do that. Although I've been accused of it, because here's what else they do, the character attack. So, okay, what they accuse, accuse you of is what they do. So they accuse me of uh, having alt accounts. Yeah, they have a dog in the race, because they're all from the area. And they're all somehow involved with meth in the area. And they think I don't know.
We have no one else is getting a wrench because guess what? Uh, another thing is uh, I got screenshots of it as well. The goal is that they want wrenches because they want wrenches from me. So they're going to try to come and befriend. Yeah, they're going to try to come and befriend so that I hand them wrenches. I've already gotten screenshots. That's the that's the objective now. But yeah, a couple of them have YouTube channels. And they're participating in that kind of bullshit. Instead of creating content for the people who want to watch their content, they play games. Mm -hmm. They're not men, they're boys. They're grown adults, but they act like 12 year olds. Okay. They should probably be creating content for their channels so that their channels grow and that their uh, their audience grows and engages with them. But instead, they plot all day how to fuck with people and then they pull stunts. No, there's girls too. There's girls too. Little boys and girls in adult bodies. But that's your locals. That's your local meth head, uh, asshole YouTube crew. So what is it about my little old channel that they got to immediately jump on me a month into my show? All right. Yeah, my channel's going to be fine, but uh, they've already knocked it in half. They've already cut my channel in half, and that's a fact. They want to control the narrative. Danielle says the Summer Wells communities are this bad and even worse. I've heard that. I've heard that. Uh, I've heard that. I'm not touching it. Okay. Miracle Hearts 2, welcome in. Okay, it's a nasty large clique of creators and subs that have made a personal attack on Anthony G. If you want throw throw want throw won't throw stones at him, they turn on you. Lie about you. Yeah, well they're doing it to me too. Okay. What do you mean? They jumped on you because who you were involved with early on, just speculating. Who was I involved with? Who is it, Anthony? Because I can explain a lot of things. We'll talk about that. Okay, the truth, jealousy, some of it. My channel grew quickly. Of course, it's cut down half of what it was because of all the bullshit. JoJo says, Summer Wells is so bad. Wow, the psychos. You two did nothing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She's involved in the games. Mm -hmm. All about the narrative, 100%. And they are crazy too. The math, man, fucks you up. Encanto, you hear Encanto? <laughs> He's not that into it tonight. He's like, I'd rather be in front of dad's computer. You can't separate it, Anthony. See, that's where you guys, I've been trying to not, okay, talk about it on the computer. But here it is. It's a Friday show. We have no subject matter. We're just talking. I said it's a QA and a and a party, okay? There's no separating from it, okay? Because what it, it does Evade your whole life. It my whole quality of life has diminished since I've been on YouTube. How would you like that as a viewer? No, Jojo, it's been going on for over a month or two.
the people attacking me were most of the ones that in the beginning I was open with. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. I can't even go into Joe's chat and participate in a constructive way. Why even mess with me? Why come to my channel and mess with me? And if you're lucky enough to have a wrench in someone's chat like Joe, why mess with his audience? But every time I even address it slightly, everyone says, we don't want to hear about the drama. Of course, no one wants to hear about the drama. I don't want the drama. Blackballed by the group. Yeah, the group. The group of local creators from the Delphi area who are not okay with me even sitting here running my mouth. And the lurkers. And what they also will do, they were coming in 10 at a time. The second I started the stream and just hitting the thumbs down. Okay. So, I'm going to keep uh, talking about it because it's happening and it's stupid. Okay. And they said all kind of things. And you know, Rick Snay's part of it. Now, Rick Snay does it his own way. He comes in the chat under fake accounts also, by the way. <clears throat> do you know Do you know he does that? Oh, Rick Snay? So not only does he go on his channel and say straight, outright lies about me, but he comes in my chat under fake accounts. <clears throat> yes, he does. For a baby daddy. Well, because I acknowledge the chat because my whole thing is discussing with the chat. But it's hard when they come in the chat. See, they, it was a strategic thing. I got it all. <laughs> they knew that the majority of what I do, since they copyright struck me, because it's the same group who tried to copyright strike me. Okay, When they copyright struck me, I stopped sharing. That's why all I do is talk to the chat now. But they knew that all I'm doing is discussing with the chat. So what did they do? They, they exercised the strategy. Oh, that's his whole show. So let's go in there and ruin the chat. And sabotage it and then uh, that's his vulnerable spot that's his Achilles heel once they figured out the copyright strikes wouldn't work because I uh, that's why all my channel have the shits pulled down I had to pull down everything go through everything make sure nothing is is copyright strikeable okay now, in other words they were they were copyright strike me over screenshots okay so I had to make sure I didn't have any screenshots in any of the lives 50 three to five hour lives I had to go through them, make sure nothing's copyright strikeable, even a screenshot. If it was, edit it out, repost, okay? When they figured that copyright strike strategy wouldn't work, then they figured, well, what will work, we'll go and sabotage the chat. So that's the deal with the bullshit. You know who they are. Put them in the chat or don't. You know all the, all the players. But they're all from there. All of them. And boy, they're going to be pissed because I'm not done with Delphi. 
I lied. <clears throat> okay. Not done with Delphi. <clears throat> then they tried other things. The other things didn't happen on the channel, so you don't know about them. <sighs> <clears throat> No, because they were even coming into the Dior chats, the first Dior or two. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not stopping Dior either. Because here's, here's the bottom line with Dior, right? Parents are involved. Everyone knows it. Of course, just by saying that alone, uh, something's wrong with me, right? But I'm only echoing with the uh, sheriff and the... Uh, and the uh, investig private investigators have collected. <clears throat> okay. Jessica won't say where the baby is buried. That's the problem. We just want to find the baby. <clears throat> yeah, was it that disrespectful to that dead baby? Okay. You got a dead baby. And instead of letting that be you still are warring with me because the whole objective, as they say, is to get me off of YouTube, not just to make me shut up about Delphi. So. <laughs> Funny, Danielle. Twilight Zone. Yeah. Twilight Zone. But I got to say, you know, it, it was pretty interesting because at first I was getting as many views as these uh, channels with 10,000 subscribers. OK, uh, so, yeah, I think they were jealous. They are. Because. Uh, I just happened to notice that my viewership on lives was high and. Uh, and the other channels I was watching that were much bigger than mine, they had low viewerships. And I thought, wow, uh, lots of people are watching my little channel. Okay. Well, until all of this shit started where it got all complicated and viewers tuned out. So, yeah, they, they got, they pulled, you know, they got the first lick. Okay. Yeah, it's extremely disrespectful toward the poor, poor child who I was coming in to discuss. But it's also extremely disrespectful to the uh, Delphi victims. Okay, but they act uh, so insanely that uh, people are used to it with the Delphi victims. Oh, you said they were told to tune out? Oh, that's interesting. <clears throat> well, I know when, when, when Rick Snay started his shit with me, uh, I gained lots of sub subscribers and viewers. Um, so how were they told to tune out Miracle Hearts? That's interesting. Yeah, imagine what they could do. Imagine what I did. to You don't even know what I did today. I said I had a great day, and I'm going to probably do it again tomorrow. I had an incredible day, but it surely wasn't revolving around being a troll on YouTube. Okay. Disrespectful to Callie. Yeah, that, that's also what upset me because it's bringing her into it. But um, she is interested in Delphi, <clears throat> and her and I have spoken about it uh, at length. Um, but she's giving her time to participate, and it's, it's disrespectful to her. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but you wouldn't believe the shit I saw all around. I mean... Like I say, first thing they do is the character attacks. Okay, so they tried to say all these things that were not true. And then they uh, and then they tried copyright strike the channel to take it down. Didn't work. So then they tried uh, take over the chat. And like I said, it's a month of all that crap. And, and what do I have? Uh, 
all my regular viewers. Uh, you know, I got half of my regular viewers, uh, and half of them I've lost. People I used to see every day here no longer come. But it's quality over quantity because I know who does watch the channel because I get emails. And um, it's just funny that the people I respect the most, some of the people I respect the most are those watching daily and emailing me. So I know who's watching and they're important. And you are too in the chat. Yeah, I saw that. I saw they said I bought subs, which I never did, ever. There was, they were even saying I bought view hours, which I don't know how you do that or if you can, but uh, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, with, with as many view hours as I was getting, I had no need to buy any. My view hours were through the roof because I'm doing three-hour shows. You know, <clears throat> So you start to think about the number of people watching. <clears throat> you are important. <laughs> That's why I said the chat's important. But there are people not in the chat who watch and email me. And some of them, they don't want to be in the chat because they know other people are going to see them in the chat and then go talk. <clears throat> or if they come in the chat, they'll come in the chat once every couple shows just to show support. But they would be more active if it not were for the stuff. <clears throat> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Danielle, I reimbursed. You're buying me a coffee because I thought you wanted that for the Discord, but the Discord is locked up. I'm not letting anyone in the Discord. So the buy me a coffees are not related to the discord at all. So thank you for buying the coffees, but I refunded it because I thought that you thought that was the way to uh, get into the discord. And I just, I can't have anyone else in the discord. Um, yeah, Michelle, three and hour, three and four hour lives add up. And I was getting a hundred viewers uh, for 90% of those three hours. So, you know, that's uh 300 hours immediately. And then within the next 24 hours, I was getting another 600 hours. So that's 1,000 view hours in 24 hours. Okay, I was getting 1,200 hours of views a day. <clears throat> now I'm down to like uh, 400. Yeah, they said I was buying subs and view hours, which is completely not true. But, um... <clears throat> They're spreading the crap to turn the viewers away. And it, it worked for two-thirds of the viewers. I don't know what you were doing, Danielle. I just figured you wanted to pay for the Discord, and you thought that's how to do it. So I said, uh, let me uh, refund your uh, donation because I don't want you to be upset about not getting in the Discord. Yeah, my so yeah, a lot of the people in a lot of the mods. Here's another thing I heard. People were getting flack and booted and turned away for being mods. So when I made everyone a mod in my chat uh, that I knew who uh, they were, I had some that asked me to please remove their wrench because they don't want to be persecuted by these other channels. That's how crazy it is. So just having a wrench in my chat or just being in my chat. Uh, it's enough to get you cold-shouldered. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, and I and it also gave me headaches. I also I have migraines already, and it it made them worse. Okay, so I had to take a lot of time off just to relax. <clears throat> To know they can't get seen commenting or chatting. Uh -huh. I don't care. I like my viewers. Like my people here in this chat. Like I said, the whole purpose is I wanted to discuss with people. And uh, and if I'm going to be on a uh, cold platform like this where it's through a screen, uh, I at least want the interaction of people in the chat. <clears throat> So it's been rough. It's been rough. But I'm getting my second win. I'm getting over it. 
Plus, there were lots of other threats. There were direct threats. There were veiled threats. There were threats with my child involved. <clears throat> There's things that go on in the discords and uh, text messages behind the scenes that YouTube viewers don't know about. It was going full steam. Uh, but yep. Yeah, but like I said, you know, they got the first lick. They played their cards. They played their hand. And so I'm just going to keep doing what I do. <laughs> so, fuck them. But yeah, I mean, Rick Snae, I mean, <laughs> he doesn't bother me. You know, he can keep talking. Like, uh, I'm not talking about him, really. You know, I don't take him serious. And, um, and he doesn't know what he's talking about with me, you know, at all. He doesn't know what he's talking about. So he's just... He says, he says himself, he does it for clicks, okay? Rick says the drama gets him three to four times the clicks that uh, the non-drama does. So when, when Rick's doing it, he's doing it just for the clicks and, and to, to be some sort of a pantomime thing. You know, he's, he's being a goofball. But uh, it's these others who are actually trying to do harm, you know? Yeah, Rick told all his people that uh, I buy subs and I'm... Uh, a bad guy and all this and and all it did was it sent subscribers my way but yeah he goes for the jugular and he's he lies like the, the thing about snay was he was legitimately straight up lying like there was a whole thing with me being bittersweet ruminations okay okay so let me let, let me talk on this because this is interesting for over a month they were all kicking my ass because they had it set in their mind that i had created a fake account called bittersweet ruminations Okay, so what I did, I started a little project to figure out who is bittersweet ruminations. And uh, due to luck, intelligence, and uh, the good Lord, uh, it was revealed to me that bittersweet ruminations is Lauren. So I came on the channel and I announced it. I said, bittersweet ruminations is Lauren, you idiots. Uh, here's why and here's how. And, uh, and it's the funniest thing because the first reaction from them was like, oh, yeah, Bittersweet Ruminations is Lauren. Okay, that's true. But it must be Lauren and Prof. So even though I proved who Bittersweet Ruminations was, they couldn't just accept that they were wrong and that Bittersweet Ruminations was not me, but is another person. And so, and so they then had to project that I must also be somehow, we're both using that account or it's some collusion between Bittersweet Ruminations and I. Who, I don't know Lauren. I've never spoken with Lauren. I've only seen Lauren in the chat and in comments, um, and I discovered who Lauren was and shared it with them so that they would know who Bittersweet Ruminations is so they could get off of my back. And they couldn't accept it. And you know they didn't apologize. Okay? Hey, Jojo. Thank you. Thank you for plugging the channel. We're talking about Baby Dior and Delphi. But I'm just, I'm tired, and, and it's been a, a frustration with this whole shit. You know? Who is Lauren? Lauren is from Flora, and she's related to the Flora Fire fiasco. Okay? Lauren is insanely mad with the same people who I don't like much and who don't like me. It doesn't mean that I'm Lauren. We're just two separate people who have some dislike for the same group of people. It doesn't mean that I am Lauren. Of course, they think that I have to be their only enemy, but they know she exists, and they know uh, their problems with her prior to me even coming onto YouTube. Anthony, I've already said I don't create fake accounts. So no, I've never created fake accounts. I don't have fake accounts. I don't need them. That's childish games. I don't play games. Yeah, they were convinced it was me, and it wasn't. Absolutely, 100% wasn't me. But th that's what I'm saying, how stupid they are. They still think it's me somehow, even though she admitted it's her. Because what she did, she came and said, yes, it is me. And she was also a little upset at me for saying her name. But what was I supposed to do? Okay, I'm clearing it up. Okay, so now she's upset with me because I, I said it's her. They're upset with me because I revealed it's her. <clears throat> but rather than apologize, they doubled down on the bullshit. Exactly. It's Lauren from Flora, <clears throat> but they think it's me, but they know it's her, 
but they still say it's me and her. <clears throat> yeah, I have my channel. I have an alternate channel that's called The Prof True Crime, where I'm going to be posting shorts pretty much exclusively. <clears throat> Can't argue with stupid. Nope. And that's what I said. I tried to do them a favor and tell them who is bittersweet because they were so upset about bittersweet's words. Okay. And claiming it was me and attacking me because of it. So I said, let me research, find out who this bittersweet is. And do you know how difficult that is? But I accomplished the mission because I prayed about it. I figured out it was Lauren. I called her out. She agreed. They realized. But even after realizing, even after realizing it's her, they couldn't just accept it and move on and definitely wouldn't apologize. But they still doubled down and said, well, it must be Prof and her somehow. I have nothing to do with Lauren. I don't mind when she comes in the chat. I mean, she, she's gone now because she's gone. She's probably made another account, but I love having her in the chat. I don't, I don't mind Lauren in the chat. Lauren's never made me boot her from the chat. Oh, yeah. If you start that, Rick Snay will be saying it in two days because all he does is lie. Yeah, he's going to say that I married Lauren. Yeah, exactly. But here's what I know about Lauren. She's white. She's directly related to the parties in the Flora fires from Flora. Lauren. Everyone knows Lauren. Okay, bittersweet ruminations. She's gone now. I never booted her. After uh, after I called it all out, she kind of disappeared. But I'm sure she's got a different name. <clears throat> Do I think Rick likes me? No, I think he hates me. <clears throat> but I think he just says shit for uh, drama. So he found that I was a new guy. He called me a little boy, like he's going to beat my ass. He said he couldn't respect Noe until Noe almost uh, punched him in the face. So uh, apparently with Rick, you got to be a toxic male. You know, you got to be ready to punch someone's face in before uh, he respects. You got to be willing to punch Rick's face in before he respects you. So uh, he will never respect me because I would never gratify him with punching him in the face. Okay. She's okay. Yeah, yeah she is Boogie Down Productions. Welcome in, Real Queen. Yeah, so she was Boogie Down Productions. Okay, then she became Bittersweet Ruminations. And uh, apparently, according to these guys, she must be me. But everyone knows Lauren and the Boogie Down Productions and Bittersweet Ruminations. So, you know, did any one of them apologize? No, did, Ruckus didn't apologize. Okay. <clears throat> Ruckus knows that that was Lauren. <clears throat> <laughs> He's paid for it just like old balls GH. Okay. All right, guys. He thought he could walk all over Noe. Yeah, but Noe almost destroyed him, and he decided, okay, I respect Noe now. Because that's what it takes for a guy like Rick Snake. Okay, that's what it takes. But he's an intellectual? Really? Shoot, I would, and I'm not a male, but I'll be toxic for him. <laughs> Jaded, it's not very empathetic, okay, to be uh, punching Rick Snay in the face. You should feel sorry for his wife. That's that's what I say about, the only thing I'll say about Rick is I feel sorry for his wife. You know, she got to put up with that every day. Just imagine. <laughs> Maya Soda says, I wouldn't F around and find out with Noe. Nope. <laughs> No, I'm sure Noe can pretty much use uh, all the strength of every little muscle in his uh, body to uh, to exercise some force. Okay. No, Rick is a bad guy. You know why, Anthony? Because he lies. He lied about me. Not just about one thing. Like, he lied on in several different lies about me. So, no, Rick's an asshole. Fuck Rick. Rick can apologize for lies, and then maybe I'll discuss with him... Uh, the nature of his lies and whether I uh, can understand why he would be led to lie about me, but uh, no, fuck Rick. <laughs> Rick's backside collapsed when Noe still gets to the ground. Yeah, 
His little turtle was back in his shell. <laughs> yeah. But no, Anthony, uh, no respect for Nick. I mean, Rick. Okay. Or Nick. Okay. Lady Classic back in the house. Yeah. But that's the only, the, the empathy I feel for Rick is for, I mean, for Snae is his wife. You know, poor, poor lady. All right. Yeah, I saw Noe speak up. I watched the whole show, guys. That's why I was late coming on. I watched the whole show. But you think I would subject myself to going back in the chat and being booted again? No, I'm not going to. I'm not. I'm not going to do that to myself. When Joe fixes the problem, I'll be back in his chat. And guess what? I was in Joe's chat in prior times before I had a YouTube channel. So I've already been in Joe's chat. But since I'm now uh, a small channel, of course, I, I can't even go in a fucking chat I had always gone into. Don't miss the jaded part. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> okay. Anthony is not us. Anthony is not a sassy. Anthony has his own opinion and agenda, and he's going to try to prove us wrong, but I'm doing what I want to do, and as long as he's respectful, I'm not kicking him out. But no. No, but for Snae to get up there and lie about me is completely unacceptable. It's it's if he's lying about me, then who else is he lying about, right? And what else? I don't get up here and lie at you. So he's lying to his viewers. So what else is he lying about? Because liars don't just lie about one thing. No real queen, but I wish they did. No, he had put his phone down. Yep. We'll see. Rick hangs with Tony. And Four Pits is on Derek's nuts. So that's why I don't give a shit about Rick or uh, Four Pits. Like I said, they're all locals who have some agenda. Anthony is not us. You're because you're not, dude. You don't agree with anything I say. You haven't paid attention to anything I've said, and uh, and you know that Rick has lied about me to your face, and you're accepting it. So I mean, I'm not gonna let you uh, claim to be uh, one of us if you're thinking that Rick Snay is telling you the truth about me, because he's not. Mm -hmm. No, he no, no, he does stand up because he knew that it was wrong. No, no, he stands up for what's right. Okay. Yeah, Anthony believes a whole different. I mean, I think I'm pretty sure Anthony believes the uh, lone wolf, uh, ridiculous uh, uh, Rick Allen theory, bridge guy Rick Allen, lone wolf. <clears throat> but maybe not. He may think someone else is involved, but. Yeah, so <clears throat> But it's the lies. Yes, Anthony, cuz you, you can't be believing. Yes, you do have to agree with us in general. You sure do because we don't we are all pretty much in agreement and then to, of course we can agree to disagree on points, but I'm telling you Rick Snay's lying to your face. Yeah, and and why, like, are you coming here to, are you standing up for Snay's lies? Why would you even do that? Why would you come in here if you believe what Rick's saying? <clears throat> and he's not the only one. I mean, we're, we're hounding on Rick right now. I'm not trying to hound on Rick. I'm just, we're discussing it. He's lying. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, we can still chill, negotiate facts and um, talk as long as it's all respectful. I'm telling you, I mean, it's obvious you don't agree with anything we say. <clears throat> and Rick's lying his ass off. So, Like I say, if he's lying about me, who else is he lying about? What else is he lying about? <clears throat> but so much for an upbeat Friday party. <laughs> woo woo! Trying to keep the energy up, guys. I guess I'm getting tired. It was a very sunny day. <clears throat> it was a very sunny day. I'm all drained. Yeah, that's his routine. He Well, he does the dogging. Like he, he said himself, I mean, I don't see why it's that mysterious to people. He says the drama gets the more clicks and views, so he does the drama.
Well, that's what he did. <clears throat> he invited me to come and debate him for his uh, high intellect. But uh, why in the hell would I go? Uh, I'm not going to victimize myself. You know, you go on his channel. What is he going to do? Make you look stupid, kick you off. <clears throat> why would I do that? I'm not going on his turf for any reason. <clears throat> <laughs> You're kind of shindig, talking shit, and smoking cigars. Yeah. <clears throat> he does that over and over. That's his thing. That's his shtick, right? The rich shtick. The snay way. Lie, drama, slander. The whole nine yards. He's got that little dick energy. The shack attack. <clears throat> you got corn. What are you doing with corn, Maya Sotis? What an odd snack. Sounds good, though. I love corn. <clears throat> Snacking that corn. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Excuse me. Little mini ones like Snake, because your toddler actually likes it, <clears throat> not like Snake. Yeah, you guys, it's snack time again. <clears throat> Although I don't recommend eating after midnight ever. <clears throat> I can tell you what I'm doing, Amy. I'm watching fireworks with the little prop here. Aren't you excited for him? <clears throat> you know him. He's all <clears throat> jumpy and happy. So he's going to lose his mind. He saw them last year, but, you know, he was younger, and it was, uh, we didn't go to the uh, location we watched from home. So you know he's going to be losing his mind. How awesome. So it's going to be Little Pro's first legitimate fireworks display. <clears throat> That'll be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to love it. You know I have to probably get the camera out for 30 seconds and catch him reacting to the first few. <clears throat> oh, you should have seen what we did today. I got some nice photos. <clears throat> Delphi. It's like a puzzle. Two-thirds of the pieces are face down. And half are missing. What was in the cigar? It's just a cigar. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> That's a disgusting joke. <laughs> Kelp. Yeah. It's a cigar. Are you guys talking to Anthony? Anthony has his mind made up, you know. Okay, uh Yeah, sometimes it's just a cigar, but it's a pretty gross joke. Ugh. Give me chills, shivers, something. Ugh. Right, that's a good question. Uh, if you think we are all about conspiracies and not facts, then why are you here? To change our narrative? And we don't always agree. Yeah. I, my mind made up? Uh, my mind is open-ended. Uh, but I don't, I don't say things lightly that I've said. So the fact that I've said them means something to me. And... Uh, I'm the one having a live stream party. <clears throat> live stream party almost over. I'm crashing. 
but I don't like being called conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy. What, what are we saying? The conspiracy is that it's complicated. There are many tentacles. Uh, the family doesn't appear to be completely transparent. Uh, those things seem to be pretty much facts. But uh, Anthony's always saying that he knows facts and wants facts from us. But you tell me, other than what's in the, uh, the court documents and other than what's in the videotaped uh, footage of witnesses and family members, etc., what facts do you have, Anthony? Because that's your only facts. You got video footage and you got court documents. So what other facts do you have that we don't have? It's a thing when you come in when you come someplace and you're saying that you're a conspiracy theory, I got facts, we want facts. Don't you understand that our that the theories that you're calling conspiracy theory comes from what we find to be facts, just like your theory comes from what you are finding to be fact. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's a hypothesis of the crime from what we feel is uh, good information. So just by coming in and saying it's conspiracies alone, no, because coming in and saying it's conspiracies alone, that's discounting off the rip. So you're saying, ah, it's, it's conspiracies. It's not conspiracies. It's our theory based upon what we feel are credible sources and evidence from the limited amount of information that's out there publicly. <clears throat> you say you watch Sleuth's channel, right? Okay, so... You're probably believing what Sleuth believes, okay? Which he thinks is facts, because he thinks he's been at it for six years, and I've been uh, masturbating in the woods or something. I mean, I don't know, not thinking about it. No, it's not. It's not. It's not, Anthony. Have I banned you? <clears throat> okay. I didn't say you're not welcome here. I said you're not one of us. It's different. It's just like I'm not one of sleuths, okay? Because I don't believe what fucking sleuth thinks. I think he's, he's wrong. Okay, so I'm not, I don't watch his channel because I think he's wrong. And I wouldn't consider myself part of sleuth's gang. You know? <clears throat> so what's wrong with trying to chat on Joe's channel? I tried to chat on Joe's channel. They banned me, okay? No one's banning you just for coming in and saying hi. That's basically what they did to me. I go in there and say hi to banned me. Yeah, you are gaslighting, so you're about to fucking be banned. I'll tell you that much right now. <clears throat> yeah, we're trying to put things together. <clears throat> um, but you don't come in and say, you're all, you're all conspiracy, and I'll stick with the facts. Because that right there is gaslighting. So you're coming in, you're saying, I don't believe your conspiracies. I stick with the facts. <clears throat> what is that statement there, Anthony? <laughs> Old boss. Oh, the gravitational waves from the uh, place in Louisiana. You're not going to like my, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like my ideas. <laughs> you're not going to like it. I tell you that money, that's a huge money pit though. That's a huge money pit for the military industrial complex. <clears throat> Tell you what, there is an, um, oh, it's too much for you. It'll be too much for AK West. Uh, not K-West, Kelt. It'll be too much Kelt. But there's, there's a relevant author and book. Let's see if K-West chimes in on that. Kelt.
very expensive. But you can uh, download or purchase a book called Subquantum Kinetics. Okay, and if you read that, it may inform you about what the gravitational wave detectors are seeing. Hey West says, I'm definitely not one of the gang over there, but I do drop in if something pops up Delphi related. But getting anybody to participate in chat with me is impossible. Yeah, because they think that uh, Richard Allen's a lone wolf. Yeah, Kel, I'm pretty tired right now, but subquantum kinetics.